What's up? This is Demrick. It's Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's Obi Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Sklad MC. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out, man. And that's another thing, too, man. Like, I mean, we, we had our whole movement over here with the Brown Squad and how we was, was doing it back then like that. But back then like that, too, I got a shout out. I mean, Tired Mal and Shaw Claire and Julie Black and hey. all those guys, all that was holding me down like that, at that, at that whole circle movement and, and uh, with, uh, motherfucker from the, uh, with the ghetto concept, the ghetto concept and the guy from ghetto concept, I can't remember his name, man. Um, that Infinite, is that his name, Infinite? Infinite, that, yeah, um, the one who did, uh, take a look in my eyes and you see what I see, that dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, chaos and all those guys, man. Then they go west to, uh, I mean, the rascals like Pink Shed and, and, and um, there's two motherfuckers over there, too. I can't remember their names either, man. Uh, the guy that's on fucking Northern Touch. Uh, Checkmate? Check, uh, con conscience. Conscience and Checkmate. Oh, Cardinal, Shot Clear. Cardinal, Cardinal and Thrush. Shot Clear coming down oh. with the Northern Touch. Checkmate, Checkmate. Checkmate, Checkmate. Yeah. checkmate. Yeah. Sure, some of them do. I can tell you, I can tell you, my stories, my man. I can tell you, I remember being in Toronto a week before Brown Squad opened up for uh, Julie Black, Shaw Claire, and Socrates at the train station in Halifax. This is back in like '99, almost 2000. Oh shit! And um, I think it was, I think it was 2000. 2000. Yeah, and that's I like Money Jane era. In a, in a club, in, in a certain club in Toronto, uh, in Toronto, and I told my cousin. It's dope, like, and the more I learn about the East Coast too, like, that's one thing I, that that I do notice is that everything is very ingrained and that everybody does know each other. And like, I don't know, I just I, I really like, and I myself had my uh, had the opportunity to come tour on the East Coast earlier last year with my homie Robbie G, and just incredible experience, man. It was my first time out east, uh, Nova Scotia, absolutely beautiful. The things that they say about the people is absolutely true. There is an East Coast hospitality. You people are nicer than anybody else in Canada as far as I'm concerned um like it just just incredible and just like seeing you know um like we got we got to rock um Curly's the spot that class mentions in it's sickening we got to perform there so just like to kind of see some of the history you know what I mean like it, it was just super yeah. dope man super dope 
We got talent out here. We got talent. You guys got a lot of talent out there. Like everyone who performed at every show we did, we did I think eleven shows out there. Absolutely, like just flawless talent. I met a lot of great people that you know I've had them on the show since, and you know collaborated with some of them. Just like it's just so much raw, untapped talent out there. I think the East Coast really, really deserves a good spotlight on it. Definitely, definitely does my respect, man. Shout out to East Coast all day. Definitely, man. And with yeah, that bro. being said, too, like, um, can we expect any, uh, like, a Knucklehead album coming out any time in the near future or any new Actually, music? Actually, yeah, okay. Um, you can expect something, man. Um, to, to, be honest, to be honest, I'm not really sure when, but as soon as I can drop it, I'm dropping it. Believe me, I'm dropping it like it's hot. Dope. So it's in the works, at least, though. If you want... It- if you want to buy albums online, check Martin Finch on Facebook. I can get you copies and stuff like that. Me, me and Ty Rolls have albums on there. Yeah, tell and us about the three the album poster package you got. What'd you say? The, tell tell me about it. The the al- usually, the the album and poster package uh, things you're sa- you're talking about that you got. So so I usually put Ty Rolls solo album, Martin Finch's solo album, and then we did an album together called Stuck in the Nineties. Yeah. So you get you get those three plus you get three posters. One large one, autographed by me and T. Then you get uh, uh, the Drunken Hour, the the video podcast thingy that we did for SwearNet, and we sign it. And then we also have like a, a replica of all the rock pile in front of the, when I'm sitting on the horse. When we say, uh, help my fuck, I know you didn't bring that eagle flag. Oh, yeah. When Jay Rock says that, it's a picture of us right there. And then we all have our autographs on it. But like I said, it's a replica from the original, right? Yeah. So we usually sell that online. You got PayPal, get at me, Martin Finch on Facebook. You can check me on Instagram at Mr. Finch of the Rock Pile. Um, and that's what it is. So cop the album, stop and holler at me. You can buy one, you can buy all three, you can do it all either way. T gets his money, I get mine, we do what we do. Dope, man, dope. I'll have to grab one of those packages from you as well. And Spech, Spech no, told me about your guys, and, and, uh, your guys' album and, too. And, 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 and anybody... Like you said, anything that he said, but you can get more albums from me because I got, like I said, I got five albums. People don't, that don't know, I got a first album called Knucklehead, Knuckle Luck. My second album, the 365 album, which has uh, some of the original Rock Call guys on it, Rest in Peace, Shore Sheen. I have uh, my album, Hard Headed. I have the Finch album, Stuck in the 90s, me and him. And then I have a Mad Craze album with my original crew that I started rapping with before I even started, even got close to TV. So oh, word. I got like five albums. Um, you can get t-shirts from me too. I have t-shirts that say, no, I'm saying, hit my IG up, knucklehead, at knucklehead underscore 365. Check me out. You can check for my uh, my videos and stuff on YouTube. You know I mean, just type in my name, knucklehead, and the name of the song, whatever song you're looking for, if it's on there. I mean, check them out, but at the same time, uh, me and Finch at the Trailer Park song. Check that out. That's on my album, Hard Headed, and it's called the Trailer Park song. That's on YouTube, too. Check that out, yo. Hit me up, all and inquiries. Do you DM me, or you can email me. Shit got to be serious. That's all I can say. Because if it ain't, I ain't fucking with you. Hey. <laughs> Dope, man. And do you guys, have, neither of you guys have any copies of the old Ground Squad albums by chance for sale, do you? Um... For sale, I, I don't have a copy for sale, but I, I, mean, I, I play for myself and I listen once in a while to to myself. But I got two, I got two copies, but those are memorabilia. Okay. I have them in the rap, original rap. But I can get you the, I can get you the songs though. I was just gonna ask, would you be able to forward me some of the songs to play on the station? Because I, uh, I'd love to have some of that stuff. Because I love playing the old school Canadian hip hop too, and kind of you know, like we were saying, like um, the links that you know people don't realize are there. Like I really like to kind of play some of that old stuff. He's trying to play old ground sauce stuff, so we get in fights over the royalties. <laughs> the ten person split? Jeez. Yeah, yeah I'll just give me my fifty cents and I'm good, man. Hey. Uh, you don't even get fifty cents no more. You get like zero, 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 zero point four five of a cent. Uh, whoever's getting the most money, I'm going to them and telling them to give me fifty cents. Right? <laughs> you should write the final wording in your contract. I own it all. I forged your name on the contract? I, I just said, yes, let's do it. 
Sound off, join off the Ground Squad album? No, that, that's on Unpredictable. Oh, okay, 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 album. okay. That's the album he did after he did on the Ground Out. But Tyrone was on, that, on a song called We'll Never Fall with Shore Shane on that album. Oh, word. Yeah, cause the, the oldest class album I could get was Union Dude, so I always kind of wondered what that song was from. The first, the, he had two tapes, I think two tapes, if I'm wrong, excuse me, but I remember I had two tapes that he did Time's Up and What's Next Kid I think was the other one and then he put out an album that just had four songs on it called Now What Now What and yeah yeah it, Now What and it only had four songs on it and then and then he put out Unpredictable and then was there a Trial and Error come there Trial and Error Union Dudes would have been next Union Dudes then Trial and Error Union Dudes Union Dudes because we're on No Breaks on Union Dudes okay I, I always get those two mixed up in terms of timeline. Yeah, yeah. Union, Union Dudes is first oh, and man. then uh, Trial Air. Because heavy, heavy artillery is on Trial Air and now yeah. it's after Union Dudes. I remember the Union Dudes because the government got at him and he hated how much he had to pay. <laughs> he puts that for cover. That's the cover art. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's real. Real stuff. That's actually real, eh? That's dope. That's dope. That is real. That's not joking. He was mad about it. That's super dope. Because yeah. Man. Luckily, uh, when I got into class, it was right at that cusp before he really blew. So luckily, when I seen him at the first show in London, he still actually had hard copies of Union Do. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of those. Let's go. Yeah. Play number eight, no breaks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You're hearing no, you're hearing short shane in there. Short shane's the third last person. Okay, we're dope. No breaks. Short shane, the third last person. Not crazy. It's a banging track, too. Yeah, track, it is. That whole album's banging, from start, actually. From start to finish. Yeah, I love that joint. I love that whole album. A lot of people say the Martin Finch album was their favorite part of that album. Yeah? No, <laughs> they don't. Shut up. I, I was going to say, what? <laughs> you shit's right before talking shit, isn't it? He did it. He did it. He went for the beat. <laughs> <laughs> he went for the beat. Got him. He's hooked in. Gave him the whole team close fisherman, eh? Got him with that. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's your man, MLNY, Maloney, Breaking Records, Breaking Records Radio. You know what it is. I'm just here to tell you guys right now that you want to, if any of my smokers out there, basically, any of my Canadian smokers, now that it's legal, what you got to do is you got to head over to thccollection.com and check them out. And make sure you use the promo code HIPHOP. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. And that's all capital letters. Save 10% on every purchase that you make anytime. They got everything. They got deals every single day of the week, which include like free whatever with whatever you buy. And uh, my favorite is Tulip Tuesday. You can get $100 ounces. And that's only on Tuesdays. And you save 10% on every purchase with the promo code HIPHOP, all caps. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. So make sure you go over there. Check them out. That's THCCollection.com for all your good medical needs, for all your good greenery, your extracts, and all that good stuff.